everything you're about to see could be true, or it could be the figment of our celebrity's imagination. It all depends on whether you believe. Have we all been here before? In a past life? If we've been here before, who were we? Many people believe that under deep relaxation, they've recalled vivid and detailed memories of past lives. The question is, is it true? Some people believe that past life regression is a way of exploring the idea that we've all been here before. We'll be taking our celebrity into their subconscious using a form of hypnosis. The often startling revelations will be put to the test as our history detective follows the clues looking for solid evidence. Are these memories of past lives or just fantasy? The experts will have their say, but in the end, it's up to you to decide. What do you believe? Have we been here before? After a varied career that took in the Navy, holiday repping and managing a supermarket, Sean Williamson found fame on EastEnders, where he played lovable loser Barry Evans for nine years. Since Barry was bumped off in 2003, Sean has starred in Saturday Night Fever in the West End. But how does he feel about the idea that he could have lived before? I suppose one of the most interesting things will be uh, to see who I was in a previous life and to see if it has any relevance at all to what I'm doing at the moment. I've got an irrational fear of choking, um, so who knows? I mean, that would be a mind blower if, if it worked out. Uh, I choked to death in a previous life. It, it would explain a lot. So, time for Sean to get started on today's regression session as he puts himself in the hands of our regression therapist, Andrea Fawkes. I, I do believe in, in something. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, but... I'm going to lie back, grip my teeth and think of England. Right, you're all ready to I'm go ready now. As I'll okay. ever be. Past life regression is often used to help with problems, emotional or physical. Andrea believes that if you can find the source of a problem in a past life, you can cut the connection between that trauma and your current life. Clients in past lives often find the source of their fears, phobias and ailments that they've experienced in this lifetime and by going back to the life where they've come from and cutting the ties to that, they can often be healed. Using relaxation techniques and a calming voice, Andrea puts Sean into a deeply relaxed state. Drifting and floating, drifting. Her belief is that once she can access Sean's subconscious, she can unlock any past life memories that may lie within. Three, two, one. What do you see, sense or feel now, if anything? She is shield. Okay. Are you wearing any clothes or anything on your feet? Seems to be like an armour. Mm -hmm. Seems to be of chain mail. Some sort of knight, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you know what century it is? 14th. Do you know what year it actually is in the 14th century? What year is it? It's 13. Uh, fifteen. Thirteen, fifteen. Are you aware of having a name? If you get the name Richard. Mm -hmm. Florin. F. L O R I N. And where would you call home? Where's your home? It seems to be like a, a sort of castle. Mm -hmm. And where's the castle? Rouen. France. And does the castle have a name? R Roussillon. We fight for the count. Mm -hmm. And you were a knight of the castle of Roussillon? Yes. Is there anyone you love or care about? Madeline. Madeline? Who's Madeline? She's a lady in waiting. Mm -hmm. And who's she the lady in waiting to? Count. Do you have any family with her? Any children? No. Is she someone you're allowed to be with or is it just... No. Do you feel that Madeline has any feelings for you? Yes. What feelings do you have about Madeline? 
love. What's happening now? I was on a horseback. You're on a horse. And where are you going? Somewhere muddy. It's just mud. Mm -hmm. What's happening with the mud? There's people fighting in it. Who are you fighting against? The English. How do you feel about the English? I don't hate them. Mm -hmm. How long have you been away now from the castle? From Madeline, how long have you been away fighting? A long time. Weeks, months, years? Three, three months. Okay, just go ahead in time now to the last day of that lifetime. What's happening on the last day of that lifetime? I can't breathe. What's happening? A neck wound. What's happened to your neck? It's been cut. What's cut your neck, do you know? Like a... a, a pike. A pike? I was knocked off the horse by the pike. Who was holding the pike? Oh, an English soldier. What's happening in the last few minutes of that lifetime? Just lying in, lying in mud. I can't breathe and I can't move. And what thoughts are going through your head about that life? That you'll never see the castle of Madeline again. How do you feel that you're dying and that you're missing Madeline? And how do you feel about the fact that you're fighting for someone else's honour, someone else's... Bitter. In a few moments, you're going to be coming back to the present with a marvellous feeling of well-being, of inner wisdom. Five, six, coming out of it. Seven, eight, eyes open. How do you feel? All right. Do you remember everything you've seen and said? Uh, pretty much. Mm. Can you see how that made sense to some things in this lifetime? How do your hands feel? Really clammy. Mm. So you feel hot? M must have, yeah. Yeah. I very much enjoyed being um, regressed uh, back to the night. Uh, I've got a very clear image of a uh, sun shining on a beautiful green field and uh, medieval paraphernalia around. This field could have been anywhere, but I just got France really strongly. Um, why I should be a Frenchman killing English is, is a, another matter, but that's, that's just what came through, you know. Could have been an English knight, but no, there was a very strong feeling that he was a Frenchman. So, did the French knight really exist, or did Sean's imagination just ride off into the sunset? We sent our intrepid historian and detective Jules Hudson to battle with the clues in search of the truth. Sean's tale certainly sounds wonderfully romantic. And let's face it, which of us hasn't dreamt of knights and castles and damsels in distress at some time or other? There's people fighting in it. A, a neck wound. And although it might sound like pure fantasy, I did uncover some astonishing facts from Sean's aggression about life as a 14th century knight. See what we found out after the break.